Hi everyone, this is Sushma. Uh, so welcome to Magnic Software. So I am a Java Driner. So today in this video we are going to discuss Scanner class. So in last video we have discussed about Buffer Reader class. So continuation for that. So today in this video we are going to discuss about Scanner class. So let us see what is a Scanner class. So, how we are accepting values from the keyboard by using buffer reader class in the same way we can accept a values from the keyboard by using scanner class. But scanner class is present in util package. It is uh, present in util package. Java dot util package. Util package. So, when we are discussing about buffer reader class, buffer reader class is present in IO package. Coming to the scanner class, it is present in util package. In buffer reader class, the values can be accepted one by one. One after another one, you are accepting the values from the keyboard in buffer reader class. But when we are using this scanner class, we can accept, we can accept different type of data different type of data in a same line in a same line so this is nothing but what we are calling it as a scanner class so what is the syntax to represent scanner class so let us see the syntax so scanner scanner is a predefined class so that is the reason s should be capital so SC is nothing but object to the scanner class. So either you can take S1, S2 or SC or SCA, any object you can take. This object will be created by using new operator. So new scanner of system.in. So scanner is nothing but a class. SC is nothing but an object. By using this new operator, you are creating an object to the scanner class and system.in. You need to take the data from the keyboard. So that is the reason I am writing here system.in. So whatever the data you are taking from the keyboard, the data will be stored in SC object. But if you want to represent the scanner class, we need to use some methods. So let us see what are the methods we need to take data from the keyboard first method is nothing but se se is nothing but a scanner object se dot next byte when you want to take any byte values so we need to to read byte values to read byte values so in the same way if you want to accept integers se dot next int next int is a method which is used to accept to read integer values to read integer uh, values and third method if you want to read any string uh, sc dot next method see next method is different and next line method is different so when you want to read words if you want to read any words we have to use next method when you want to read any sentence or paragraph then we have to use next line method which method we have to use next line method so to read strings to read strings we can use next next line method which method next line method so next um, if you want to accept any float value sc dot next float sc dot next float method so to read float values to read float values so next sixth one sc dot next double when you want to accept any double value from the keyword then we have to use next double method so to read double values to read double values so next when you want to take a single character from the keyboard so we have to use a method called 
sc dot next method dot char at of zero. So at of zero means zero is nothing but the index position. So in zero at the index position, whatever the character you are having, the character you are taking from the keyboard. So to read character, to read um, character. So these are the methods to accept data from the keyboard now by using this methods we can accept some details from the keyboard so let us see how i am implementing a program for scanner class okay now we can see one program for scanner class so let us assume i want to take a employee details from the keyboard so let us see so i was writing in the comments employee details accept employee details accept employee details by using scanner class by using scanner class scanner class is present in which package util package so that is the reason i am importing a package called import java dot util dot star here either you can represent a star star is nothing but a library which contain group of classes and interfaces if you don't want to keep here star replace with scanner class okay it is your choice uh, so next i want to write down here some class name so scan example any class name you can take it so i want to write down main method so public static void main of string args this is your main method string args this is your main method so now i want to write down the syntax for your scanner class so scanner s is equal to new scanner of new scanner of system dot in new scanner of system dot in so now we can see here i want to accept employee details like id name gender salary by using scanner class now i want to write down system dot out dot print ln of so enter whatever the details you need to write down write down the details enter id name and salary and gender so i want to take all these details by using the scanner class so now see first of all i want to accept a integer value so that is the reason int id is equal to what is the method we need to take sc dot next method next int method this is the method to accept a id value from the keyboard now name name is a string type of data so string name is equal to sc dot next method okay if you are if you want to give any space or if you want to give any paragraph then we have to use next line method otherwise we can use next method why because by using next method we can accept the words but uh, next method will not uh, take any spaces next salary salary is of a float type of data so float salary is equal to sc dot next float see i am writing some capital letters see i is a capital letter here f is a capital letter so to accept the salary i am taking next to float method or if you are taking it as a double type of data so we need to use double data type and here you need to mention next to double now i want to take a gender gender is a character type of data char gen equal to sc dot next dot caret of zero caret of zero so this is the method to accept a gender from the keyboard now i was accepting id name salary gender from the keyboard but i want to print these values onto the screen so that is the reason i am writing system dot out dot print ln of i want to print 
employee ID. What I am going to print here? Employee ID plus whatever the variable you want to print onto the screen, mention the variable name plus ID. In last video, I already said you plus is nothing but a concatenation. Whatever the string and whatever the value you are having to concatenate these two things, we are using a plus operator. So next, I want to take here system dot out dot out dot print ln of employee name what i would like to take here employee name plus whatever the variable name you are giving so mention the variable name name in the same way system dot what i need to take here system dot out dot print ln of print ln of employee salary i want to take i want to print employee salary onto the screen so that is the reason i want to print sal variable so sal next system dot out dot print ln of print ln of employee gender so i want to print the gender onto the screen so that is the reason plus what is the variable i have given here gender so mention the variable name here as gn so like this you are going to take the values from the keyword by using scanner class but see what happening here when i am going to print id name salary and gender you are mentioning four system dot out dot print elements but i don't want to print uh, these many system dot out dot print elements so what is the solution for this see in c language we have to use printf function right so i want to replace print ln with printf okay but see here guys how you can write down means system dot system dot out dot print f of print f of whatever the format strings we are taking so format strings and arg1 comma arg2 comma argn how many arguments you want to print onto the screen mention those arguments but what are format strings see i am writing in the note point what are uh, format strings format uh, strings so let us see here guys so if you want to accept any value that means if you want to print anything onto the screen so we are having some format strings in print of a function we have to remember all this format strings when you want to go to new line so then percentage n format string we have to use if you want to give any tab space so you need to give here percentage t okay so next um, when you want to print any integer okay when you want to print any integer we have to use percentage d in the same way if you want to take any float value we have to use percentage f okay when you want to take any string string when you want to print any string then we have to use percentage yes when you want to take any character take not when you want to print any character we have to use percentage c in the same way hexadecimal values hexadecimal values so we need to take here percentage x okay so next in the same way octal values what i am going to take here octal values then you need to take here percentage o so when you want to use print f instead of a print ln we have to remember all these format strings then only we can implement this printf in the system dot out dot instead of print ln we can use printf so see here let us i can change my coding instead of this four lines how can i write my coding so let us see i want to print the details so system dot out dot print f of system dot out dot print f of okay first of all i need to take employee id right employee id here itself you need to mention percentage d 
okay it is a integer why because int id right integer integer for integer what is the format string i am using percentage d percentage n why because whatever the details i want to print to the, print onto the screen i want to print the values one by one so for new line what is the format string i am having percentage n so i was mentioning here percentage n okay so next uh, i want to give here employee name what i want to print here employee name it is of a string type of data so that is the reason i am mentioning here percentage yes see string it will be represented with percentage yes so now again you need to go for new line so that is the reason percentage n next i am taking salary so employee salary employee salary it is of a float data type so that is the reason what what is the format string for float percentage f so that is the reason i am representing percentage f here again you need to go for new line so that is the reason percentage n so again i want to print employee gender so that is the reason employee gender gender is a character type of data what is the format string for character type of data percentage c so that is the reason i am taking here percentage c now whatever the details i have printed onto the screen i have given all the details by using this format strings but i want to print this variables onto the screen or not so now you can give the arguments argument 1 argument 2 argument n okay how many arguments i am having 1 2 3 4 okay so parameters or you can say it as a parameters what are the parameters i need to pass id comma name comma salary comma gender okay so like this instead of four system dot out dot print lens by using this print of a function we can print the values onto the screen so this is the way we can represent our scanner class okay now we can see in most of the interviews they will ask you a question like what is the difference between buffer reader class and scanner class we people already know that buffer reader class is present in io package scanner class is present in util package buffer reader class can accept the values line by line but scanner class will accept the values in a single line with a different type of data and uh, buffer reader memory is large that means 8 kb byte buffer we can say it as but coming to the scanner class it can accept only 1 kb char buffer what we can say 1 kb char buffer and uh, buffer reader performance is faster and scanner class performance is very slower and we can say um, buffer reader is synchronous Synch what is the meaning of synchronous synchronous means when you want to use multi threading multi threading concept will be supported by using buffer reader class but multi threading concept is not supported in scanner class why because scanner class is a not synchronized so these are the main differences between your scanner class and buffer reader class but in most of the programs we are using buffer reader class the reason why means it can have a larger memory when compared to the scanner class okay thank you for watching please like share subscribe magnic software